biosafety level 2. This is the second containment level and it includes those agents that cause moderate hazards to the workers working in the lab and as well to, as to the environment. Now microbiological practices are same as we have discussed in the biosafety level 1. These are lab door must be closed when work is in progress, smoking, drinking, eating is not allowed in the lab, mouth pipetting is prohibited, infectious material should be disposed of properly and whenever we talk about the uh, needles they must be disposed of in a sharp box. So all these microbiological practices are same for all biosafety levels. But the major difference between biosafety level 1 and 2 is that the workers which are working in the biosafety level 2 lab must have special training for handling the infectious material. Or in trainers ko train karne ke liye special supervisors hone chahiye jo ke us field mein masters ho. Now special equipments and practices are also allowed in biosafety level 2. For example, when we talk about the special practices, then we uh, restrict the movement of people in the lab uh, having biosafety level 2. Then special biocontainment equipments are required at this level, especially biosafety cabinet. Now let's talk about the special practices which are required at biosafety level 2. These are number 1. Door must be kept closed. There must be special double door that meet the specific entry and exit requirements. Then the people who are entering into the lab must be aware of the infectious agents that in this lab infectious agents are handled by the workers. Now workers which are working in the lab at biosafety level 2, they must be immunized against the infectious diseases such as hepatitis B. Biosafety manuals should be easily available and accessible in the lab and it is the duty of lab manager. Now while collecting the sample, we must take care that there should be proper collection of specimen in a durable leak proof container. Then there must be proper handling and processing of the specimen as well. Storage must be done at a specific temperature. For example, some specimens require 4 degrees centigrade while some specimens have to be kept freeze at minus 20 degrees centigrade. And if we want to transport the sample from the collection point to the diagnostic lab or to the clinical lab, then we have to use certain type of preservatives to maintain the chemical composition of the specimen. Now lab equipments must be decontaminated, not after performing the procedure, but even when the equipment has to be removed from the lab for repair or for maintenance so that the people who are outside the lab uh, remain safe from the infectious agents. If any sort of incident occur in the lab, for example any biological spill occur, then uh, it must be uh, noticed or it must be informed to the biosafety officer so that he can improve the biosafety levels. Then simple eye protective wear, face mask, face shield and gloves are required whenever we want to perform standard microbiological practices even at biosafety level 2. Agar aap ne lab coat pehna hai, you have to take it off while leaving the uh, lab. Chahe aap cafeteria mein ja rahe hain, chahe aap library mein ja rahe hain and even if you are going to the administrative office, you have to take off the lab coats. Then animals and plants, they are not allowed in the lab. Even small children, they are not allowed in the lab because they have a weak immunity. Old people also have weak immunity and they have the chances of getting infectious uh, diseases from the lab. So animals, plants, children, even old people are not allowed in the lab because children and old people have low immunity. Then uh, we need special containment equipment uh, at biosafety level 2. 
Why is it so? If there are chances of the formation of infectious aerosols while shaking, grinding, centrifuging, pipetting, or even uh, during sonicating, even by simply opening the container having the infectious material, there are chances of aerosol generation. So in order to avoid this, all standard microbiological practices should be performed in a biosafety cabinet. Now biosafety cabinet should be certified and should be used according to the manufacturer's uh, procedures and precautionary measures.